Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris and this is the Subscriber Designs episode 34. Now the very first design is by Sir Put of Putsville and this is the American M3 half track. Before you start using this craft you want to make sure that you have crew inside the cockpit and then you just launch. It's a simple vehicle, it looks good, I like it the way it looks and take a look you're going to make sure you push the brakes and then take the kerbals out one by one you do that yes got it make sure they stand first oh yeah got it yeah, it's big it's a bit glitchy all right that one's in and the next one get in kerbal stand up and then same thing now that all kerbals are loaded up in the vehicle, <laughs> let us move and then spacebar. Yay! Oh, we don't want to crash into that. Actually, let's do it. Let's do it. No! <laughs> this is a dramatic explosion. Get to turn on the lights. Yes. <laughs> Wait, I want to go in um, first person view. I can't do that. No! I can't see through the eyes of the Kerbals. Damn, that would have been nice. Mystery goo. We must observe it. <laughs> nah, that's all only there for looks, all these things. Well, I suppose you could use this as a, a probe on a moon if you wanted to, or on a planet. It moves the Kerbals around in, in a very fancy way. You know what? We're gonna crash into this. Yes, let's do it. Got it. Ha ha ha. <laughs> it is the most dangerous vehicle of all time. Okay. Now, this one, this building here, we will break into it. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Did we lose something just then? No, I don't think so. Oh, so sort of scrape the building there. Full speed ahead. Come on. Yeah, oh, it actually worked. Wow. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, I think we've wrecked our turning abilities here. Why can I not turn? Oh, it's working now. There we go. Oh, good. So we've destroyed a couple buildings so far. It looks so good now. New and improved. <laughs> okay, that one didn't work so well. Need to gain more momentum. Oh, the wheel's broken. Well, that's going to hinder our poss our abilities of smashing buildings, although it still works. Uh, I did not expect that. <laughs> Come on, we must destroy them all. No, we have destroyed ourselves in the process. Hey, that's a cool way of just getting your... your vehicle to lift off a bit it's just have broken wheels on it and it just when you move it just boosts you up a bit yes yes no no okay I think this craft is no longer this vehicle is no longer working oh no it's toppled ooh that's cool look at that thermodic generators so that's where the power is coming from aha <laughs> okay, I think we better move on to the next design. We have a couple Batmobiles, so we'll quickly check them out. Oh, we might have to repair that. Let's do that. Okay, Batmobiles. Here we go. Alright, now there's two versions of the Batmobile, and these were submitted by Artem. Uh, the first one has just standard wheels. So as you see, these basic wheels here, and then you have the second design, which has the uh, smaller wheels, and I like this one because it just flows better. I think this should be good. All right, let's go for it. Uh, <laughs> he actually recommends that I use the Batman music, but I probably won't. I don't want any copyright issues. So we're just going to do this. You guys can imagine the Batman music theme songs and all that if you want to. <laughs> I won't. Is there any fuel for this? 
Probably. Let's test it. Because I don't remember using this. Only, the only thing I remember is that the wheels look good on this. And that's it. Oh. Uh, we lifted off too early there. Okay. I don't think we're meant to fly though. <laughs> Should not be able to fly. That is perfectly fine. Although they're parachutes, so... I suppose it is meant to fly. Yes, we will land. Successful landing. Actually, that's not too bad. I want to try that again. Okay, now let's... Let's lift off. Smoothly. Or maybe... Should lift off at the end of the runway, maybe? Or if we do this very slowly. Like... Very... Very... Oh, it's starting. Oh, oh, that was very close. Damn. Alright, but here we go. We've made it. We have lift off. This is actually quite powerful. Mm, could use this for simple aircrafts. What about maneuverability? Yeah, rolling is great. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, pitch. Pitch is pretty good. I don't imagine the oar's pretty good. Oh, the oar's alright. She's it's not bad overall. <laughs> the kerbals. Oh no. Nah, spoke too soon. Need more air intakes. No, oh, throttle down. Oh no, we are doomed. Doomed, I tell you. Parachute. Yes. Saved them. I saved the two kerbals. <laughs> well that was amazing. <laughs> well, we saved the kerbals and we found out that the, the Batmobile can fly. It's a simple craft, but, you know, it works. I wouldn't mind using this type of design for a building. And you even got the nice food dock placement there. Okay. Now the next design, let's see what's on the list. We have the F-40 Jackal. And this is submitted by Dimas106. This actually looks quite good. I have to admit, got nice placement. Uh, sort of like a replica here. I don't you won't be able to get the Kerbals out just from looking at this But that doesn't matter Does not matter at all Yeah, I like the way it looks not a bad replica. Let's launch this We even have parachute Right there Which is the drogue shoot. Uh -huh. Aha right, Let's do it Okay, it's nice and angled at least, so it should lift off by itself, just from looking at this. I haven't used it before, too. So let's see how it goes. Come on, you can do it. Lift off by yourself, please. Yeah, look, magical. That's magical, right there. It's approaching maximum speed. So fast, man, these engines are fantastic. Alright, let's test it out. What the, what's going on with Jebediah's face? It doesn't look too good. Whee, everyone's dizzy now. Oh, that made me feel sick. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Oh. Alright, we must crash into a building. We must do it. Got it. Uh, it didn't break. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> that was quick. Let's go for the next design. The final design is actually by Centritium, which which sounds like a some sort of metal. And then he's, he's made the craft known as this, Flying Wing. Got a long name there. It even has action groups set. So let's, I'm just gonna look at action groups right here. Okay. So the solar panels, I think, and then we've got something. Yeah, just minor stuff for looks. All right, let's let's launch this. I haven't tested it. I don't even know if it will hold. Bet you the wings are going to be very wobbly. <laughs> that was bound to happen. But I like this little technique here with the the strut blocks. And the actual struts themselves. That's nice. I used to do certain things, certain techniques like that myself. It's definitely a good idea. 
Although it probably would have been better to have it underneath the aircraft. Just so you don't have to look at all the struts. But, you know, I, I make that mistake, that mistake myself too quite often. Oh, this is going to be heavy from all the wings. So heavy. Whoa. So many control surfaces. There's a million. We must lift off now. Yes. And... Alright. It's doing good so far. I want to turn off the engines. And see if this glides well. It should! We'll see. I'm just going to time up. No, nope. no, nope, that was a bad idea. <laughs> a very bad idea. It seems to be doing all right. That's yeah, okay. Oh, you can barely move it. You cannot move it when it's gliding. It's just uncontrollable. Oh well. But even now, but can we even move it? Yeah, it's very, very difficult to do so. Uh, okay, I don't think we can really bother with maneuverability. I mean, it's at zero at the moment. <laughs> you can't do much other than crash. We must crash. Okay, here we go. We're going to get as close as possible to the ocean. Where are we going to land? And nothing will die. Okay. Oh, oh. What? Oh yeah, the solar panels I just extended. <laughs> you didn't see that? I'm just pressing the, the action groups. Numbers 1 and 2. Okay. Come on now. Closer. Oh, what a bad view. That doesn't help. Come on. Closer. Yes. Oh, very close. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh. That wasn't too bad, I might say. Look at that. Pretty good. I cannot complain. <laughs> we did a good job there. And we just have floating parts everywhere. Yay, we have made it. <laughs> I think we'll end it here, guys. So we had a few designs. Some interesting, some basic, but these are subscriber designs. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'd like to thank the subscribers for their submissions, starting with Dimus106 for the F40 Jackal, Artem for the two Batmobiles, Sir Poot of Pootitsville for the American M3 Halftrack, and finally, Centridium for the Flying Wings. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>